what's up y'all i was sitting here <laughs> listening to a woman i listened to it's called the birthday gift she's a tarot reader and she was talking about needing to make the wrong decision like make the wrong decision i was like huh <laughs> what do you mean make the wrong decision there are times i listen and i'm like oh, this isn't my message and then there are times i listen and it's so clearly my message and then today I was listening and I was like, I know this is my message, but I don't understand it. I had some really powerful conversations this weekend. And there are some folks going through some things that were triggering me, particularly around relationships, romantic partnerships dissolving, things moving into crisis, all kinds of energies. And I was like, oh, this is really triggering. I could just see where I was so activated by the idea of like having to go into a specific kind of lesson again. As I was sitting here and I was thinking, I was like, oh, that's the wrong decision that I'm supposed to make. Damn it. Not getting the lesson is such a big fear for me. It feels like a past life thing. That's that's what my entire being says is I have been on this planet trying to get some really specific things <laughs> that I just couldn't get. And so it feels like a terrifying place for me in this lifetime to be like, I just can't figure that out. In relationship, particularly, that's the big, big, big place where that fear comes up. A friend of mine asked me, they were talking about perceiving me as really disciplined. And people have been saying that to me a lot lately. And I find it shocking because I never experienced myself as disciplined. And because I spent a lot of time repeating the same mistakes, right? Doing things that I, as I reflect on, experience as a wildly self-destructive. <laughs> if you want to know more about those things, you can pick up my memoir, Hummingbird coming to a shelf near you sometime in 2025, 2026. They described me as disciplined and I was like, it's not discipline. If a person touches a hot stove and they burn the fuck out of their hand and they never touch a hot stove again, it's not discipline. <laughs> it's biological response mechanism, right? But that story of like, oh, I touched a hot thing and so I just don't touch hot things anymore. There's a part of that that can be true, but there's also a part of that that's really just rooted in moving from a place of fear and a place that isn't about the present. And I just heard so clearly in this moment that I can't have fear and freedom at the same time. I felt it through my entire being and then I felt it for the whole world. I felt it for all of the political upheaval that it is we're in right now. I heard it for all of the like crisis dynamics that we are moving through right now. That there are people talking about like restricting everybody's existence and that that's freedom, right? And I just want to say unequivocally that that's fear. And fear is the antithesis of freedom. Fear is strangles freedom. It strangles liberation. And part of the reason that this woman was telling me to make the wrong decision today is because the invitation was to stop moving from fear. And the reason that I move from fear is because I have this history of self-betrayal. But freedom is the freedom to not betray myself anymore. That the mechanisms and the emotional techniques, the strategies that I was employing were a function of things that needed to be healed. And I healed them. I healed them. And so now I don't actually have to be afraid that I'm going to do anything because the root, I dug up the root. I, I dug up the root. And so because I dug up the root, I don't have to worry that that thing is going to grow anymore. Not as long as I'm choosing to tend and plant new things in this garden. And so when you find yourself governed by fear, first thing is to recognize that that fear, it's information about a thing that wants to be tended in you, that it's something that wants to be healed in you. When you get to the business of healing it, the work after that is not to keep living from the memory of the pain that was there, right? That's not freedom. It is not freedom to keep living from the memory of the pain that was there. It is freedom to recognize that that pain is gone and then live from today in what is available today. That's freedom. And I get to make a wrong decision because it's not going to be wrong because it's not rooted in the same things that it was rooted in before, that it's okay to take risks. It's okay to do something that feels like it could go sideways because the root from which I made decisions in the past is not the same root today, which means that it won't grow the same thing. I'm growing something different. You have the opportunity to grow something different. If you allow yourself to 
take a path that feels scary and be like, wait a minute, this feels like something that went really wrong last time. It may have been painful because it needed to alert you to a specific thing that wanted healing and attention. And once you give it that attention and healing, then when you approach that space next time, a new thing can grow in it. And approaching that space like it's the old space is to be bound to fear. But approaching that space like it's a new space is to be aligned with your freedom. I hope that you're choosing freedom over fear. I pray that we all will.